Well, good morning, friends, and welcome to New England. Over the next seven days, we are going to be going on an incredible road trip through Acadia, Bar Harbor, the White Mountains. We'll be driving the Kankamangas Highway and so much more. So looking forward to a beautiful week, just being able to take in all the fall foliage. It truly is beautiful here at this time of year. So looking forward to taking you along for the ride. We're starting things off with an exciting excursion. Our first morning here, we're going on a scenic boat ride of Acadia and the surrounding islands. And it really should be just special with all the leaves changing, creating the perfect backdrop for this. So let's go ahead, hop on the cruise now. I'm excited to take you along for this journey. First boat ride. Lighthouses originally were made very cheaply. So we just got off for, I think this is the only stop of the boat ride. So, so beautiful so far though. See some lighthouses. Seal, bald eagle. Actually, there were two of them, right? Uh, yeah. Seals. Really cool. Oliver has been doing great. <laughs> yeah. Loving this. So we are on, what is this island called? Islandsford. I think so. It's so cute and just quaint. This is one of, I think, 15 islands that locals live on year round. And we're just wandering around seeing the little school. There's a post office here that's tiny. And the houses are just all straight up out of a storybook. Like I would happily live in any single one of these. So sweet. I think there's a lot of fishermen who live on this island. And our uh, national park ranger said their season is ending. So you see just tons of little lobster traps, buoys, everything like that, just scattered everywhere. Such a cool place. Right here, you can see there's the sign. It's the local post office. Just a tiny little building. Got an American flag. Some free plants. It's so cute. After exploring the island for a bit longer, we hopped back on our boat and headed towards the mainland. The morning had started out pretty chilly, but it warmed up a lot as the sun came out and made for such a beautiful journey. So it is absolutely beautiful out now. Shed a few layers, still got the jacket on, but we come into downtown Bar Harbor, grab some lunch, found a little parallel parking spot. Christopher actually parked like a champ. So we we're just paying for that. I'm gonna grab some food. The town of Bar Harbor is a really lovely place with plenty of delicious cafes, restaurants, and fun little shops. For lunch, we decided to eat at Side Street Cafe. They had a really tasty looking menu. We decided to get the clam chowder, which Christopher and I shared to start. It was so, so good. And then for mains, I had a burger and Christopher had a sandwich. Everything was really good. Then afterwards, we just spent a bit of time wandering around downtown and found a beautiful little park and then headed back into Acadia. They're literally five minutes from each other to continue our afternoon's adventures. So we just finished up lunch. It was really tasty. And this afternoon we're doing a tour of the main loop of Acadia where a lot of just the really famous landmarks are. The first one is Sand Beach. Had to park, what, a third of a mile, half a mile away in the Overhope parking lot. We just walked on over. Really beautiful walk. It's right along the main road, but beautiful views of the coastline. We're coming up on the beach right now. So after stopping at Sand Beach, which was really pretty, but be warned, the parking situation here is pretty intense. We were parked probably half a mile away and I think there were cars parked 
close to a mile away. Like I was saying, the walk is pretty, but just keep that in mind. And from there, we continued on to Thunder Hole, which is a really neat spot where the ocean meets an underwater cave. And when the ocean waves crash into that cave, it makes a sound resembling thunder. Apparently the sound is most prominent at high tide, which we weren't quite at, but still looked and sounded really intense and cool. And we continued our way around Park Loop Road, stopping at various points to admire the foliage or just to take in a particularly beautiful viewpoint. A couple specific spots that we stopped at were the Otter Cliffs as well as Jordan Pond. We are just walking up now to our final stop of the day. We've come to Jordan Pond about an hour before sunset. A lot of the crowds have left, which is amazing because we've been left with this beautiful view. There's an entire hike that goes all the way around the outer rim of this pond, but we knew we weren't going to be able to do the entire thing before it got dark. So what we just decided to do instead was to find a nice quiet spot to be able to watch it get dark. There really isn't much of a sunset here, but watch it get dark from really, really enjoy just the peace and tranquility of this place. And I mean, it's just, it's so pretty guys. I'll probably say that a million times during this trip, but this spot truly really is special. Good morning. Last night we enjoyed just chill evening at our hotel. We're actually just leaving right now to head out to think so this morning as well because you can probably tell it is pretty rainy outside. It's been raining on and off all day. So going to, I think, explore Bar Harbor this morning, probably find ourselves a coffee shop, hang out there for a bit, and then saw a lot of cute little shops yesterday. So going to check those out and then we're crossing our fingers that it clears up a bit later so that we can get out and explore more of Acadia. So after spending the morning wandering around Bar Harbor, we've decided to venture into the national park. It's still raining, but we're just not going to let the rain stop us. So what we've decided to do is a pretty chill trail. It's called the Jessup Path. I think that it's stroller friendly. So we're going to just bring Oliver in the stroller. Should be really pretty. The foliage honestly looks beautiful in the rain. So we're just going to make the most of it and hope we don't get too wet. The colors in this area though are just absolutely popping off. So pretty. Originally I was going to say that we may have found a hidden gem, but really I think we might have just timed our walk on Jessup's path 
perfectly. When we went, it really wasn't raining badly at all. It was just spitting a little bit. The colors were insane. You had the reds, the yellows, the oranges. So, so pretty. It was so fun walking along the boardwalk as well. And we were some of the only people out there. But then as we were coming back, it started raining harder and we saw a ton of people. So I think we just hit it perfectly with timing. We came in the mid afternoon. That was so gorgeous though. Really glad that we didn't let the rain stop us from getting out and exploring. But now I think we're going to drive around Acadia a bit, hoping that the rain lightens up a little bit so we can try out another trail or maybe some more scenic overlooks like we did yesterday. But yeah, that was a great little hike. just got back to Bar Harbor, changed, and are headed to our dinner reservation right now. We're going to the chart room for dinner, which was highly recommended by a few friends who came last year and then some friends who used to live up here. So looking forward to dinner tonight. Honestly, I feel like we really did make the most of the rainy day, had a lot of fun, got some fun plans for tomorrow morning as well. We're going to spend probably a few last hours in Acadia before heading to the White Mountains later tomorrow, but looking forward to dinner first this evening. gone is yesterday's rain we've been left with an absolutely gorgeous day we've come up here to Cadillac Mountain Summit to enjoy the view actually we'd originally been planning to go to Cadillac Summit yesterday but with the rain you know we're on top of a mountain here it's the largest mountain in Acadia we decided that it would be a better idea to wait for a day when we had clear skies as opposed to yesterday when we would have been able to see you know 20 feet in front of us and not much else. So come up here this morning. It is windy, so hopefully you can hear me, but so, so gorgeous. You have a view of all of the surrounding islands around Acadia, mountains off in the distance. Truly is just a gorgeous sight. Have a lot of leaves changing, a lot near the top that have already changed and a lot of evergreens, but wow trying to take this all in. Also, you can see Christopher over there giving Oliver a little piggyback ride. <laughs> Hi, hello buddy. Well, our incredible time in Acadia National Park is quickly coming to an end. But before we head on to our next destination, we're going to do one last hike, we're going to do the South Bubble Trail, I believe is what it's called. So Christopher is loading up Oliver in the carrier now. He's asleep, so we're gonna try to successfully transfer him. But wow, with the sunlight lighting up the trees, this is gonna be a really, really pretty hike. Just look at that. It's like the trees are glowing. Just well, see the nature we good. As you can see, we did not successfully complete the transfer, but it all worked out because we were able to just feed Oliver, so he should be good to go for the trail. He's awake now, enjoying the view. We all are starting up with a little climb up some stairs. Christopher has honestly got it real hard because he's got the weighted situation. I asked if he wanted to uh, carry the backpack. The Seriously, I asked if he wanted to carry, if he, I could carry the backpack for him, but he said that with Oliver on the front, Balances it evens the out the weight. <laughs> so, not exactly sure how long this hike is, but I know it's a little ways to the top, so yeah, going to get a little hiking in. Gorgeous out. <sighs> I'm already out of breath. Okay, Seth Bubble, Bubble Rock, that's where we're headed. Only 0.4 miles, so should be quick.
Okay, wow. So we started at Vohol Rock, which was really cool in and of itself. Just this gigantic boulder perched on the side of the mountain. They say that it's been there for 15,000 years, that the type of rock that it's from, they've identified, it's from over 30 miles away. So it came in with a glacier 15,000 years ago. It's been there for so long. Thought that that was insane, but then we just came around the corner to the kind of like the main area of the South Bubble Trail. There's nobody over here. The bubble's crowded. There's like three other people up here. And you guys, so, so pretty. Like, I'm speechless, just look at this. So this is where we were, what was it, two days ago now? This is the loop that we drove. And then right at the end of the lake, down here you can see there's the Jordan Pond House. That's where we came to hang out, watch the sunset. Getting to see it from the other side now. Look at the fall colors on the hillside. Okay, so we just did the Seth Bubble, Bubble Rock. Ended up being a really easy hike. So with the time that we have left, cause we do still have some time before we need to head out. Gonna go up this path here go to the North Bubble, and I think it's only like a quarter mile. North Bubble, quarter mile, let's go. Well, this is another gorgeous spot, bit of a different perspective from here as you had at the South Bubble. I think we're gonna take this view in for a few minutes, then head back down, and then we are off about to head out of Acadia, got a few hour drive to the White Mountains where we'll be spending the next few days. Wow, really good. We got to see the Cadillac Mountain Summit, did this hike this morning. It's really taking advantage of our last day in Acadia. Okay, but after heading out of Acadia, we began the drive towards the White Mountains, making a handful of stops along the way. Our first was for lunch at Bagel Central. This spot was in Bangor, Maine, about an hour outside of Acadia. The bagels were so tasty. We ordered a blueberry bagel and then also a couple of breakfast bagels. And a bit further down the road towards Golden Hour, we stopped to go apple picking. So it was our first time ever apple picking as a family it had a so much fun with it. The apples were so tasty and flavorful and we almost had the place to ourselves. So it was so fun just wandering along the rows and filling up our bag. Did we pick this all on our own? Hopefully you can tell from some of the clips, but we really did have the most magical time. So if you ever find yourself in Maine, be sure to stop at Lemuse Orchard. Family owned and run, everyone there is so friendly, sweet, and helpful. This is just such a fun stop in our trip. Well, good morning. We arrived here right outside of Conway in the foothills of the White Mountains. Late last night, we had a really enjoyable drive here yesterday. Honestly, the highways, the back roads, everything in Maine has just been so, so lovely, but really looking forward to spending a few days here exploring the White Mountains and also just kind of taking things a little bit more slow. We did have a pretty packed schedule while we were in Acadia. So I think today we're going to have more of a rest day, spend some time enjoying. I'll show you in a second, but we're staying at a beautiful, beautiful Airbnb. So we're going to hang out more today and then tomorrow we'll be driving the Kankamangas Highway and doing lots of sightseeing, leaf peeping, that's what they call it when you uh, go travel somewhere just to look at the leaf change. Kind of a funny name, but I think it's fun. Uh, we'll be doing a lot of that tomorrow and Friday, but today the plan is to take things a bit more chill. I'm going to head out in a minute, going to check out a local coffee shop, probably spend some time there. And then we might spend some time outdoors, probably go for a walk or something later today. 
But yeah, like I was saying, we want to just hang out here, have some chill time, especially with traveling with a baby. It's nice to have days where you just don't have as much planned. We have loved doing a lot and it hasn't felt like too much, but at the same time, I feel like, you know, I want to remember to, we are also on vacation, so I want to build time to rest into our schedules as well. That said, we are planning to head out to coffee to grab breakfast in a minute. So first, let me show you this cute little cabin in the woods that we're staying in. We have a beautiful main living space. I love the wood fireplace in the corner. Lots of cozy seating. Look at the view out the window. Oh my goodness, so many beautiful leaves. There's a hot tub that you know we'll be taking advantage of earlier. And a fire pit too, so definitely some s'mores will be happening tonight. Got a little seating area, some games right here. I think Oliver is trying to tell us something. A great kitchen, so well stocked. We just have our apples and my leftover bagel from yesterday in here, but we were trying to think like, what could we cook in here while we're here? Because so, so pretty. Oh, more views out this one. No, I swear it's just like every window that you look at. There's just so many pretty leaves. So here's the entire main living area. And then we're not using it, but there's also an additional sleeping space upstairs, a little loft action. Great game selection too. Then through here, you've got the bathroom, really well stocked and has a gorgeous shower. Took a shower last night and it was lovely. And then through this door here, you just have the primary suite. This is definitely the messiest room. Like I was saying, we got in last night, so already made ourselves at home. We have a little seating area here, pack and play for Oliver. There's a really comfy king size bed, slept great last night. And then there's a little closet here, started unpacking in. Also a couple of benches in the room where we have our suitcases set up. And again, really, really gorgeous views through the windows. Let's see if I can just dial that in for you. Just how pretty is it? Looking out your bedroom window and seeing that. Then we went out for coffee at fairgrounds and this spot quickly became our go-to while we were in the White Mountains. I think we came here every day that we were in the area. It's in a converted old bank, so really gorgeous. They had a great coffee and probably the coolest part is they've so kept cool. the old vault so you can just walk into it and explore. An old vault. I love that they just kept this. So just set up shop here for a few hours and enjoyed a chill morning, some great coffees. Christopher did some sketching. And then towards noon, we came back to the Airbnb and it was absolutely gorgeous outside. So we decided to crack out some of their games, played Scrabble on the picnic table outdoors. And it was just such a relaxing time. So remember when I said today was supposed to be our relaxed day? Well, we did spend a good bit of time relaxing this morning, hung out at the coffee shop, played some Scrabble, and just chilled at the Airbnb this afternoon. But guys, we were outside playing Scrabble and just realized it's too beautiful not to take advantage of some of the just beautiful scenic spaces around here. We're only here for a few more days, so we decided to just dip out for a couple of hours this afternoon I'm going to do a quick little hike we've come to cathedral ledge and we're going to hike along there's a ridge line that you can walk along that looks so so pretty so we're going to do that for a few hours and then we will go back to the airbnb get some good rest time in i think we're actually going to make dinner there there's a grill so we'll probably grill out maybe do a you know marshmallow little action some s'mores roast that on the fire and then of course we'll take advantage of the hot tub tonight so still going to be a chill evening and we have had a really relaxing day but yeah i just want to get out here for a few hours while the weather is gorgeous
too. Well, good morning. Last night ended up being just a really relaxing and nice time. We hung out in the hot tub, made some marshmallows, had some dinner, uh, but this morning we are back at it again. Today is actually a really big day. We're doing the Kankamangas Highway, Flume Gorge, Artist's Bluff, and a whole lot more. So we are out right now on the Kankamangas Highway at our first stop, a covered bridge. Saw it while we were pulling in. It looks really pretty. So lots of sightseeing today, more beautiful colors. This highway is incredible. So excited to share it with you. The first step of the day was to the Albany Covered Bridge, which I thought was going to be the only covered bridge we saw, but ended up being one of three. We wandered around there for a bit before making our way to the next stop, the Lower Falls Scenic Area. Honestly, you could probably stop anywhere along this drive for incredible views, but this was a particularly scenic spot. Colors were at peak here and just love the combination of getting to see the changing leaves, hear the rushing water. It was all just so peaceful and relaxing. So you've seen at the lower elevations, the leaf change is beautiful, it's peak fall, but we're about three quarters of the way through the drive right now and we've definitely increased in elevation and it's just about winter up here. The leaves are mostly gone from the trees. There's actually snow on the ground. This is going to be Oliver's first experience of snow. So we just decided to pull off. There's a little scenic overlook here. And yeah, I'm gonna have him touch snow for the first time. So fun. No. Oliver, you ready to experience snow? <gasps> you ready okay. to experience snow? Some scenic snow? Okay. Want to touch this snow, buddy? Give it a touch. Can you touch it, Oliver? Oh, look at wow. that. What is that? Is that cold? It's like condensation, what but do you colder. Think? What do you think, buddy? Okay, quick stop for food. We've come to White Mountain Bagel. I think they have bagel sandwiches. They do like breakfast and lunchy foods. I'm going to grab something quick and then we are on our way to Flume Gorge. Sausage, egg and cheese sandwich. What kind of bagel? So at this point, we've made it to the other side of the Kankamegas Highway. It's only about an hour drive each way, and this stop, Flume Gorge, was really the highlight of our day. It's a state park, and there is paid admission. I think it's $18 per person, so something to keep in mind, but for us, it was definitely worth it. We did the Flume Gorge Loop, which is about, I think it was a two and a half mile walk. Takes you past a lot of different, just really interesting features. There are a couple of covered bridges that are super pretty the flume gorge which i'll show you in a second and the whole thing is just under a stunning canopy of trees you have a river going alongside you for a lot of it there are several viewpoints to enjoy various vistas of the mountains i love when places you visit have lots of interesting features like that then the flume gorge was such a highlight as well it's a pretty much vertical gorge cut out of the rock with river flowing through it there are several waterfalls it's hard to describe but it has almost a cave-like feeling in a way this feel just a bit secluded and separate from everything else so yeah very cool and unique and there are parts too where you get to walk directly over the river The Flume Gorge was so cool. The gorge itself was just pretty mind blowing, honestly. But then the walk afterwards, just through the trees was so scenic, so beautiful. And what's really interesting about this section of New Hampshire is you're almost experiencing fall and winter 
at the same time and I've been trying to get a few little clips to kind of show that but I feel like the view that I'm looking at right here just perfectly encapsulates it. We're here at Artist Bluff. We're actually about to hike up a trail right here but you can see right here you have peak fall, incredible colors and then in the distance you literally have snow on the mountains just at the very top. There's a ski hill over here which ugh, makes me so so excited for winter but yeah you can almost see the change from winter to fall just that color combination it's mind-blowing so confession time we bailed on the artist bluff trail we got on the trail and it was super super muddy like everywhere was covered there was no even like skirting around the sides and it was just it was really sketchy we have Oliver with us in the carrier and I just didn't want to even though we were wearing hiking boots didn't really want to chance any slips or falls and we probably walked maybe like a quarter of a mile and our hiking boots were getting pretty like gnarly with mud so yeah we just decided to call that one the view from the parking lot was incredible so we're just going to say that that was good enough i'm sure the views from the top would have been great but we have a handful of other really beautiful spots that we want to stop today so i think we're going to do that instead but yeah something to keep in mind if it's rained recently that trail gets a little sketchy And honestly, bailing on that Artist Bluff hike really did work out for the best because it gave us plenty of time to enjoy our final two stops of the day back on the scenic highway. We stopped at Sabaday Falls, which is a really short but pretty trail to a absolutely gorgeous waterfall. It was really cool too for a lot of it you were just walking on a bed of leaves and then our final stop towards sunset which happens really early at this time of year i think sunset was around 5 45 to 6 p.m every day but our final stop was at the rocky gorge scenic area and this is where we yeah just got to take things slow and watch the sunset and there's really nothing quite like golden hour to bring out the best in the fall colors and as it got a bit darker the place really emptied out too so we got to enjoy it basically by ourselves which was really special. But then the next day we packed up our bags and headed to Portland where we spent the remainder of our trip. We kept things pretty low key while we were here but tried to see some of the highlights and did plenty of great eating. A couple of the stops that we made were walking along the Eastern Promenade. It's a beautiful walk that goes along the edge of the city. We got coffee and pastries at Tandem Coffee. And then we stopped at the Portland Head Lighthouse. This was a really picturesque spot I had definitely seen this lighthouse in many pictures and paintings before so it was really cool getting to see it in person and I just love the juxtaposition of the lighthouse with the rocky surrounding landscape then we wrapped up our trip at high roller where we had the best lobster roll lobster grilled cheese of our trip it was super tasty I would definitely recommend this spot but that was our trip to New England we truly had the best time it was so much fun making memories as a family. This part of the country in the fall truly does hold such a special place in my heart. So I hope that you enjoyed coming along for this incredible journey. If you're planning a trip to New England of your own, I'll leave the details to everything that we did for you in the description box below. But until next time, friends, thank you for watching and I will see you all very soon.